More tests are needed before more skiers are allowed to ride the lift at Ski Granby Ranch. Now, this is where a Texas mother fell to her death last month. Well, today, the lift was closed for the second time. Denver 7 Chief Investigator Tony Kowaleski has been digging into the death and this investigation for weeks now. Uh, major new development today, Tony. You know, Shannon, let me start with this. The more we learn, the more we question. Within the last 90 minutes, we have learned the Quick Draw Express lift was actually shut down on Wednesday and not announced until today. Shut down for, quote, unusual and irregular conditions in the performance of the diesel lift. The new information answers some questions, but creates many more. Now, Ski Granby Ranch is in north central Colorado, about 20 miles northwest of Winter Park. Back in December, on the 29th, the reported unexpected movement of the lift ejected Kelly Huber, the 40-year-old Texas mom and her two daughters. Huber died from the fall, her daughters both injured. Here's what we learned today. This is the second time now the state has shut down the lift since that tragic death. This time, the state wants additional testing. Ski Granby Ranch also announced it's installing a new electric drive on the lift in the near future. Now, the big news is right here. The preliminary investigation has found the problem with the lift back in December that led to the death was a modification of the lift's electrical drive by an independent contractor, a modification that was made before the start of the ski season. So we still don't know why state inspectors did not find that failure when it inspected the quick draw lift less than a month before the fatal accident. We also don't know why the state allowed the lift to reopen 12 days after that death and now shuts it down about a week later. Our question pretty simple. Was that lift safe to operate for the nine days it was open before this second shutdown? Now, request for the state's Tramway Safety Board for an interview and answers denied. We intend to follow up with much more in coming days. Shannon. Tony Kovaleski tonight. Thanks, Tony.